Hello folks, welcome back to CandyBoss.com. Today we're going to make how to weather the wood. I'm going to show you how to take wood and make it into weather to make it real old and rusty. Also you can stain it with different types of variety of stain, which is, you can get it from uh, Michelle Dart and Crafts. And it's only about $21 for the set. What you do is you mix it with 91% alcohol, which is only about 2 to $3 in the dollar store or something. Now once you put the ink in a container, like a medical container, you can get the dye on it. Once it's very watery, but it can be used over and over again. I like say this is red, which I use for the red object here, which gives you the red with black effects. In order to do that, you take the wood, just shave it nicely, not too much. Then you take a towel and just wipe it off. Now you got the nice red look effect to the wood. Now if you want to change the color and like give it a little tint, I can take like yellow dye. Now you take the yellow dye very lightly, not too heavy, and just brush over the red. And as it dries, you will get an effect that is reddish and yellowish looking how I got the effect on here. Now if you want to take wood and just make it look like gray, which is like this part here, gray in the back, blue on the inside, for outside look, inside look. That I will take the dark watch. Which is a pint of alcohol, the two tablespoons of Indian ink. Now the same thing with this here, just take it on the wood, you can push it on heavy, doesn't make it different because it dries grayish when it's done. Now you got the nice little gray press. But as it dries, it turns more grayer which is good for weathered gray, which gives you like this. You can see the difference. Now, if you want to change the color, you can take yellow. I always use medical bottles because they're cheap to get. I only have a description. But sometimes they're a pain to open. There we go. Now I'll take the white on here. I'm just going to give it a little shade of white. Just to highlight it. Now if you look carefully, you can see that the white is into the gray to bring out the wood grain on the wood. Which is very good for making uh, old fashioned models or anything look like they're you know, aged for about 20 to 30 years of age. Now you can make these things on two sides. Now if you want to take this here, and you want to make this yellow. And then what you want to do is you want to take them black on the inside. What this does, it gives you the old effect for the inside and the yellow effect for the outside. Now as the coat dry, you can just keep feeding as more yellow you want to put on it or on it. You know, for the color the darker and darker. Each time you do it as it dries, it gets more dark. Okay? But you can see on all my models here how the shades of wood comes out once you put it all together. Now it's good to let the wood dry for at least 20 minutes, 30 minutes before you glue them to anything together. Thank you for watching TennyRothTrain.com.